Today, I want to talk to you about two new Dante products from Universal Audio, the Apollo E1X and the Apollo E2M. So these two Apollo E-series devices are Dante enabled, which means you can use them in any network with or without an Apollo S16D. When you add an Apollo X16D, you get extra features on the Apollo E1X, which gives you unison microphone preamp emulation from classic titles like the API Vision Channel Strip, Neve 88RS, 1073, SSL, and so on. On top of that, you can also add processing on your inserts through the Apollo 16D. All the DSP processing lives on the Apollo 16D. So this can be used again with or without the Apollo 16D, but you get extra features when you add it to the system. So let's unbox these two and talk about them. Okay, so let's talk about the Apollo E1X first. Again, this is a Dante enabled remote control microphone preamp. You can plug this into any Dante network that has a switch with PoE, which means power over ethernet. So that means one single ethernet cable can power this device and it will be remotely controlled through the console software. There is a specific section of the console software. So you need a computer in the network to be able to control all the functions from the preamp. So like I said, you can use it with or without an X16D. When you add an Apollo X16D, you get extra features like being able to use the Unison preamp emulation. On top of that, we, you can also add processing on your inserts on the way in. So you can add compression, you can add EQ or other effects. All of this without latency. These two devices have a microphone stand 5.8 thread on the bottom. So you can mount them on a microphone stand for ease of use. And the E1X in particular comes included with this bracket. And this bracket allows you to join multiples of these together. So if you wanna connect multiple preamps, you can actually put them side by side and make it a little bit more organized. So let's talk about the E2M. This is a really cool device. It has two line ins and two line outs. So you can actually use this for monitoring purposes. In the case of a live sound scenario, you can give this to a musician like a guitar player who has amp in a box pedals or a keyboard player or even a drummer who has an electronic drum set. They can plug in here their line level instruments and from here, they can plug into a wedge or you can use obviously the headphones for monitor control and you can control your headphone volume and be able to feed into the network from here as well through the line level ins. So two line ins, two line outs that both show up on the Dante controller software. This is powered by Ethernet as well. So if you have a network switch that has PoE, it only requires one single Ethernet cable. In most digital consoles, there's an option nowadays where you can actually have obviously a router connected to the console and an application to control your own mix. So if you have an iPad or an iPhone, you can actually have this on a microphone stand and your iPad as well, and be able to control your sensor, your mix, and now be able to connect your in-ear monitors in here and have perfect control of your own mix. So let's talk about connections. Like I said, you're gonna need a PoE switch. So this is a network gigabit PoE switch, and you're gonna make sure that you buy the network switch depending on how many units you're gonna use. They typically take about between four and five watts. This is a 128 watt switch, so there should be plenty of power for all my devices. But you scale it depending on the size of your system. Besides that, you're gonna need obviously ethernet cables. It could be cat 5 v or above. And obviously each device needs to be connected directly to the network switch. So each one can be powered independently. And on top of that, if your computer doesn't have a network port, you're gonna need a network adapter. In this case, I have a USB-C to ethernet port that will be connected to my laptop. Okay, so let me show you what the typical setup would look like on a Dante network that doesn't have an Apollo X16D. First, let's connect each unit to the switch using ethernet cables. Okay, so once each unit is connected, then the next step is to connect the laptop so I can control the software. So the first thing you're going to do in Dante controller is select which network interface you're using. This is the correct one, the one that has the correct IP. I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm able to see which transmitters and receivers I have. Again, the E1X is only a transmitter because it only has a signal in, but the E2M transmits and receives signal. So I can open them up and see here that the E2M is receiving line level signal and the transmitters are both E1X and E2M. If I add anything more into this Dante network, then I'll be able to send that signal. But if I want to send the microphone signal directly into the E2M, it's pretty simple. All I have to do is select this as my transmitter, and this is my receiver. So I just make those subscriptions 
one to the left channel and one to the right channel. So now it's going into the left and to the right. And if you see a green check mark, that means everything is okay. If you want to configure more settings, you can go here into device info and see all the necessary information like primary address. You can also go into clock status and see any clocking that you have here. So if you have a console or any other type of Dante device, like an Apollo X16D, you can see which one is the leader and which one's the follower. If you go to the network status, then you can also see more information like latency settings and events gives you any kind of notification that happens on your Dante network. So that's how simple it is to route the E1X to the E2M directly if you don't have a console or an Apollo X16D. If you do, it's gonna show up here on the Dante controller and you'll be able to make those subscriptions as well. Now let's see what it looks like on the UAD console to be able to control the E1X preamp. The first thing you have to do is make sure that you have your network settings correctly set up. So you go into network settings and you select your network interface. It should be selected by default if it's the only network adapters that you have connected. But if you have multiple, then you will have more choices here, including your wireless adapter. So once your network is recognized, you can see that, I'm ha that I have connected an E1X and an E2M here. You can see the IP and the MAC address for each one. I can also identify if I have a lot of preamps connected. I don't know which one is which. I can hit the identify icon and my preamp will start flashing. So this is the Apollo E window of the UAD console. From here, you'll be able to control all the parameters that you have on the Apollo E1X. So for example, if I grab a microphone and I plug it into the XLR port of the E1X, you're going to notice that on the software, it recognizes that there's an XLR connection going on and this is a mic signal. So from here, I can actually raise my gain. As you can see, the display below will show me the amount of gain that I'm applying to my microphone. And then you also have other controls like phantom power, pad, to reduce the signal, then your polarity and a high pass filter. In case that you wanted to mute the microphone preamp as well, you can do it from here and you can right click and identify as well, which is the same thing as clicking this icon here on the left. So you can recognize which preamp is the one that you're actually controlling. So that's all you need to know on how to connect an Apollo E1X or an E2M to any Dante network and how to remotely control the preamp from the UAD console software. So here, as you can see, I have 16 channels of Dante available. I can use those 16 channels for UAD processing live for a console, or I can use them also for bringing Apollo E1X preamps. So in that case, I'm gonna click on any of the channels available. I'm gonna go with Dante 1, click my Dante source. And as you can see here, I'm gonna bring a preamp, which is this E1X here. And I'm gonna hit mic or line here. And as soon as I do that, it recognizes that it's an E1X preamp and it shows me the unison slot available. So now I can control the same thing, my microphone gain as I did before, but I have an added unison slot. So if I wanted to, I can click on unison and bring any of the unison enabled preamps. So if I wanted to see my channel strip and preamps, I can just click here and it'll filter. So for example, I can add an API vision channel strip into that unison slot. And now my Apollo E1X is running through this plugin in real time with no latency. As I said before, you can also add inserts on the way in. So I can click on my insert section and add either compressors, channel strips. So in this case, I'm going to add the Autotune Real-Time X. And now I have Autotune and my API Vision channel strip all running in real time with low latency. And I can send this output directly to my monitor or I can send it out to another Dante channel. So if I send it to Dante 1 and now it's been used as a Dante processing box. So I can send this back to Dante 1 and on Dante controller I can route that channel into a console and for example I will be receiving that signal instead of my console's preamps. I'm actually sending the signal from the Apollo E1X into my console. As I told you before the E2M is actually a 2-in device as well as a 2-out device. For example I can go into Dante 3 and 4 and link those two channels so it becomes one stereo fader for those two channels. And I want to select my source. I can say that's going to be coming from the E2M signal left and right. And now those subscriptions have been made for me. As you can see for my first Dante channel, I have the E1X selected. And then for three and four, I have the E2M left and E2M right. So this one channel is receiving the signal for my E2M. So if I have anything that has a line level out, I can connect and get those signals in there. And if I open up Dante controller, I can see actually what it did in the background. If I'm gonna expand here, you can see that E1X has been routed to Dante number one, and my E2M has been routed to Dante's three and four into my Apollo X16D. Thank you so much for watching this video. For more info on Apollo E-Series, 
go to youaudio.com and give me a like and subscribe to my channel so I can keep making more content for you.